Hey guys, it's Mark with Music Greatness and in today's tutorial we're going to be learning Workout by J. Cole. The main riff sounds just like this. Let's get straight into the breakdown. We're in the key of D minor. And there are five main chords to look at. Our first chord is a D minor chord. That's octave Ds in the left hand, A, D and F in the right hand. Our second chord is a C major chord. Octave C's in the left hand, G, C, and E in the right hand. Our third chord is a G minor chord. G's in the left hand, B flat, and D in the right hand. Our fourth chord is a B flat major chord. That's octave B flats in the left hand, D, F, and B flat in the right hand. And lastly, our fifth chord is an A minor chord. That's octave A's in the left hand, C, E, and A in the right hand. Just to recap that one more time, we have our D minor. Moving to C major, moving to G minor, moving to B flat, down to A minor, and back home, where we start the loop again on D minor. Let's break it down some more. This time, I'm going to count out the beats as I play so that you can see how everything fits together. One, two, three, four. 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 All right, let's break it down bar by bar. In our first bar, we're playing our D minor chord, octave Ds, A, D, and F. We're holding that for four beats. One, two, three, four. Then we move to our C major chord, Cs. G, C, and E. We hold that for four as well. One, two, three, four. Then we shift up to G minor. G's, B flat, and D. And we're gonna hold this for three and a half beats. It's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. And on the end of four, we're gonna play G and A to lead us into the B flat major chord. Let me count that out again so that you can really see how it fits in. One and two and three and four and one. Then we've got one more bar to cover. In the last bar, we're holding each chord for two beats. So we have a B flat major chord, which we hold for two. Then we shift down to the A minor chord for two before starting back on our D minor chord. And that's really all there is to the main riff of Workout by J. Cole. We're also going to look at a slight variation on the main riff, which you can hear throughout the song. It sounds just like this. Let's break that down as well. The left hand is identical to the main riff. We're simply playing our octave Ds, octave Cs, and octave Gs, holding them for four beats each. And then in the last bar, B flat for two beats, A for two beats, and then we start back on the D. 
The right hand might seem quite tricky, but actually it's just a single melodic idea repeated four times. This idea, which we're now going to break down. First, I'm going to take away the crush notes, these, and, and we're simply going to play the simplified melody a few times through. Let's count that out. One and two and three and four and. Making sure that you come off before the and of four. One more time. One and two and three and four and. Now, let's add back in those crush notes. So, when we play A, our first note, we're actually going to tap this G and slide off of it as quickly as possible. The same thing for our fourth note, this E, we're going to play the D as quickly as we can. Like this. Alright, let me show you that, bar by bar, one more time. So we're going to start, D's in the left hand, then we shift to C's, and then to G's. And then holding for two beats each, just to break that left hand right hand pattern down a little bit more, I'm going to play you the last bar of that phrase with the B flats and the A one more time, this time counting it out. One and two and three and four and. Notice again that I came off before the and of four. And that's all there is to the second variation of Workout by J. Cole. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, check out the rest of the tutorial on musicgreatness.com. I've been your tutor Mark, thank you.